Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Puzzle Agent 2. So we are communing with the hidden people. Communing, maybe the wrong word, maybe communicating with them. And because of that, I think there's only two more puzzles in the main uh, path here. Then we have to do Lunacy Algorithm and the Lander Circuitry. And then there's three extra puzzles. And I could see us getting them all done we probably should get them all done today if we just hop into it and get it done and then maybe this mystery will be solved a little bit more although it seems like it's gone from a full mystery to just the reveal being exactly what they say it is so I'm not sure if there's gonna be any more twists or turns it seems like just several entities were involved astronauts hidden people the government conspiracy uh the only people we haven't seen so far is a serial serial killer and a bigfoot let's get into the game and find out what's going to happen so we're just in space talking I, I assume this is all happening in my head to these hidden people and each one of them has a puzzle my three sons is the next one two earths are receiving light from three sons a sun is connected to one planet gives full power and to one earth if it's connected to two earths the sun shares powers evenly how powerful is the third sun so we're trying to figure out the same puzzle we've done before except for backwards we've done this puzzle about four or five times in this sequel uh, so, the question is the difference here. When this one gives half of its thing here, and half of its thing here, and the, so there's no reason that the suns have to have the same amount of power, but it also has to give half of its power here, and twice of its power here. Hmm. Or all of its power here. If it was just these two connected. Because this one connects and this one connects and makes 30. So combine these two, that's 30. When this one connects and this one connects, then that should again be 30. Therefore, the 40 says this has to be 10. Let's just hit submit. We have no reason to waste time if if that's the answer. We might as well throw it in there. No hints needed, no wrong answers. Full 10 stars. I assume that's 10 stars. Yeah, it is. Every time I solve a puzzle, something changes here. And we're hearing a lot of weird sounds there that makes me think that maybe he's just gone completely insane now. We've got the moon in the background. Uh, lunacy algorithm. Um, no, I don't want to really solve that one yet. Let's quit for a second. This optional puzzle. We might as well get it done before we do the lunacy algorithm. Star field, arrange the cosmos to reveal and complete all of the stars. Rotate the tiles to return the cosmos in order. All right. This shouldn't be too difficult. Use the outer edges as our guides and continue matching things. There we go. And let's see. That one. That one. Just really quick. And with puzzles like these, you can all sometimes input so many different inputs that that it's quicker to click than it is to even really think. Uh, the solution will just present itself so easily 
Let's see. I believe that's all of them. Just run through it and I'll check. Yep. Submit. So I'm starry field done. Why was that an optional puzzle? That was an easy puzzle. <laughs> they should have taken one of the more difficult ones and made that one optional. So we see the moon, we see an astronaut, we see a broken satellite, we see uh, what looks like an alien. Now we have to do lunacy. If we go over here and look at the 28 puzzle pieces we've done, Everything is filled up to Lunacy Algorithm. There's nothing we missed. Can you figure out the Lunacy Algorithm Olaf created? Arrange the mathematical elements in the proper order. We still don't really have anything that explains any of this, but let's say something simple here. This what can we click on? It seems like maybe only three pieces or four pieces. It seems like the four times the diameter of over pi times pi r squared squared minus a series between of integers. I believe that's what the symbol means. Is the sigma symbol is a series of integers between one and zero so that would be minus one but it's it's squared times the square root of x times dx plus there's a level of math here that it just doesn't make sense that people would be expected to understand or know any of this you can't do the l symbol and you can't move the four pi like this divided by pi times pi cancels out. Uh, wow, this feels ridiculous. There's, it's not like any marks on the boards or anything that would make any sense. Hmm. So, that kind of makes sense that that, this either is at the very end to square the whole thing but which doesn't make sense so i would square that and then do this and there's a plus sign at the end so hmm it almost feels like it has to be this, doesn't it? Because of the way the plus sign is here, and then there's no plus sign here, and then there's a plus sign at the end, and then there's a square root at sigma here, and a, with the exponential of 2. It's just too much math. Let's look at the hints and see what they'd even be. Find some logical pairings in the functions, like parentheses. Yeah, that makes sense. Notice the, we're having the, uh, uh, the bug happen again, and, like, what can I really do? The game's barely been running for, for 30 minutes, and it's already having visual glitches again. That's not on me. That's not on my computer. That's the game. The S item, known as an integral, should be the first. Good to know that. There's no additional items between the parenthesized functions. Okay. So, since this isn't anything more, I think this was right. Let's submit. So it really didn't have to do too much with actual math knowledge, but it still was required a lot of 
of knowledge of math that may be above a lot of people who who didn't pay attention to math classes or simply haven't been in math classes. All the previous puzzles seemed like they'd be fine for a 16, 17, 18 year old to play. I doubt very many 18 year olds are gonna know any of that stuff. Let's look at the how. Two plus signs can't go together, so we know that the square root piece wasn't inside the parentheses, nor can it be at the end of the formula. The S piece is the symbol for integral, which meaning what comes after it is a function and can't be at the end. No wonder it took Olaf over 20 years to solve lunacy. It's like, yeah, super complex. And see, before we had the like fifth digit to pi, too. Who made these puzzles? What kind of person would make these puzzles? There's no reason. This is ridiculous. That's just bad puzzle design, really. You should have explained Whoa, these things whispers, over the course. He's just in his underwear right now. Uh, going totally crazy with a gun to his head again. It's like, whoever made these puzzles doesn't know how to make puzzles that are accessible to normal people. It's Two guns are on them, actually. So... We can look around and see. Kirchhoff's principle. Rotation affects orientation. Hmm. Eight dimensional combinatorics. The center cannot hold. So I... I can look at all these people just point guns at me. Multiplicative cyclic group G of order Q. He's just rambling. Let's do the puzzle, I guess. The moon's gone black. Must hurry. Unlock the module. Using the control module, make a program to move all three electrons into receptacle. We tried this one before. Each command will move all electrons at once. The electron won't move if the circuit chip is in the way, but it, it keeps its energy. Uh, an electron entering a burnt out area will die. Electrons in the receptor will stop moving. Only one electron can occupy the receptor. All electrons must reach the receptor. So, first one is to go forward, and then go to the right and then go up and then up and then if I go to the right and then up and let's see then up again up again left I mean right 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 and up and that should be it let's hit submit and see if it works so having a programming background I didn't quite do that right Ah, I messed up. Having a programming background helps a lot in thinking out this puzzle. Particularly considering how the, uh, the... We really haven't done very many puzzles like this before. It, we've done things somewhat similar, but only in a very abstract way would you be able to connect it. Let's see, what did I do wrong? Up, then right. Then up one, up two. I think I made a mistake by doing this one, so. Um, guess I just have to reset it. It'll be easier. Up, left, up, up, up this time. Then one left, then up, and then and that up. I need two more ups there, and then 
one right, two rights. three rights, and then one up. And let's try that. That should be it. Made a small mistake the first time. Got it on the second try. So are the hidden people going to save me? Because it now feels like I'm just going to be arrested and shot by the FBI secret eight men in black people. That, that did it. Um, uh oh. Strange, why didn't they shoot the other ones? <laughs> Seems like I once again helped the hidden people who were the bad guys. Nelson needs to take the lunar ray to Lake Sven's, but it's under, but it's is under the lunar rays effects. Help Nelson maintain focus by ordering connections between the floating objects. Draw a path between each object in this order. Space equipment, moon, lunacy algorithm, hidden people. Um. So space equipment, moon, algorithm. Okay, so you gotta be a little bit faster than this. This is an interesting cutscene here. Uh, if it gets too close, it hurts you. Uh, yeah, and this is the type of mini game they tried when they made Telltale games and never got it quite right. That was almost alright, but oh, kind no. of sucky. I'll never be able to destroy it in time. <laughs> it's a Bigfoot. I figured this was going to happen. So why did he have to destroy it in a specific time? Greetings, Nelson. Welcome back, Special Agent Tethers. Hi, Jim. Anything exciting happen while I was away? Oh, never mind that. I got the latest issue of Puzzle Sensei. Um, think you could give me a hand with this one? What's the next number in the sequence to follow? This is Puzzle 512. Let's solve. All right, let's see, 30, then 59, then 90, then 120. What's the maximum number it could be? Oh, a thousand. Hmm. Let's see, and we're showing a Rubik's Cube here and a puzzle. And see, this adds, what, 28 to this and then Let's see, 28 plus that would be 87, so 28 plus 3, and then 28, hmm. I, I'm almost thinking it's, it's, it's got to be like a 180. 
Let's just use hints. I, again, it's like uh, we don't even know. It's it's so obscure. It could be any number. Anything between zero and 999 could be the number. I could put in 512. I could put in 180. I could do any other angle. I see these circles and I understand that 31 degrees and 60 degrees would equal a nice 90 degrees. And then I could see that adding this would be 149. Uh, if we added these two, so 149 could be the next answer too, but only if that's actual degrees that they're referencing. The solution uses basic addition. Okay, give me one more. Look at the first number. Does it remind you of anything? Uh, no. The number corresponds to the days of each month in the Gregorian calendar, cumulatively added. What? So you're telling me that the first month has 31 days and the second month has only 28 days. Then uh, how would you get this? There's no, no calendar on the screen. There's no calendar in this office. So 150, we have potentially three options here. It's either 150, 149, or 148. Those are the only three numbers that are possible, so we'll start with 150 and see what happens. If I saw a calendar, if I knew what the how many days were in the fifth month, I could possibly figure this out, so... One, um, 49, now submit. But if you really didn't get this, you would have to sit here and just input things over and over again. 148, that's like, I could see somebody getting stuck here and not doing the right thing and just looking up a walkthrough online. I can see somebody just trying them all. Get those submission process up to like 99. Oh, maybe it was 151. Because some have thir 31 days. If I'd seen an actual an actual calendar I might have been able to figure this out but no here let's look at the how so May has 31 days uh, the number corresponds to the number of days in a month starting with January and added cumulatively January has 31 uh, February has 28 uh, March has 31, April has 30, May has 31. Another puzzle solved. Don't look so disappointed, Jim. That was a hard one. <laughs> it's not that. I'm just going to miss your help when I'm transferred. Transferred? Yeah, I've been relocated to the Tundra Division, Arctic Circle Outpost. When the directors found out I'd warned you they were sending agents to Scoggins, they called it a breach of protocol. Oh, Jim, I feel terrible. Here, take this. My entire back collection of Puzzle Sensei magazines since issue number one. Wow! But they've already been Aren't solved. They full of the answers. I use tracing paper. You don't miss a thing, Nelson. Interesting. That's an hey, interesting. Is that a postcard from the Daphners? Good to see they're happy anyway. Yeah, happy. Oh. They went to Bermuda. What could go wrong in Bermuda? Bermuda Triangle stuff. So, based on the Grickle series of books written and illustrated, so there are books. I, I do have to say, I went to the Grickle website and I could not for the life of me figure out what they were selling there. 
there was a shop that took you to get like mugs and pictures uh, and there was a gallery that showed you like little one panel cartoons but nowhere on that front page of their website did it say we have books available for purchase anywhere <laughs> and and just to find like their twitter uh address was hidden under a, a add-on to the website it's like ooh, they need to really redo their website and explain to people what Gurkle is i still don't know i don't think it really has much to do with this uh i'd like to know down in the comments if somebody's familiar with it but uh i don't think any of the comedy i think you, you could go either way with that Grickle may be a hugely funny series it may not even supposed to be it may not even be intended to be comedy so who knows uh, but what i found funny in this game i think is probably because they just had better writers on the sequel than they did the first game unfortunately still we didn't really get a huge payoff here uh, there was a great mystery that was going on through the middle of the game and it just got dropped they just straight out told us oh no this guy's an astronaut the the hidden people are real uh there's there's a government crazy beam shooting up and driving people around crazy and you have to destroy it at least we assume that's the case it may very also well be that the agent tethers is just crazy but if that's the case how did he maintain his job at all uh, it's kind of confusing how he maintained his job even after what he did uh, for the secret service agents is what they're labeled as here they should have called them men in black this was created with the telltale tool according to this i kind of disbelieve that if it if it was i i suspect the portions that we used to create this game have not been used in any modern telltale game because you just don't see puzzles like this in modern Telltale games. Not that they were particularly that good. The puzzles were really, really bad in this sequel. The story was a lot better, but the puzzles, bad. And maybe that's... It, it makes a lot of sense why Telltale eventually just started making games that had almost no actual gameplay in it. Is they, they do a bad job at it. They do a terrible job of quick time events in Jurassic Park the game. They do a bad job of puzzles in this. They do a sort of bad job in the Sam and Max games, but not really because they spend a lot of effort on those. Here we're getting crazy audio again. This was a very audio focused uh, game to try and inspire feelings of fear. So congratulations on completing the uh, puzzle Agent 2. There are additional puzzles for you to enjoy. You can access these or others you've missed in the puzzle box. Need gum? There's plenty at Nelson's desk. Take as many as you need. So. So I can just sit here and click as much gum as I want. Let's see how much gum we can get it up to. We might as well go all the way to 100 pieces. There you go, 109. Would you like to see the cards again? No. Interesting. So there's an optional puzzle there. And... There's an optional puzzle there. Hmm. Let's do these. The Lunar Run puzzle again? No. And this is all the ones we've done. But I don't think you can just come back and, like, this one here. I don't think you can solve this and do 151 again. Submit it immediately without any hints and get a increased, like, yeah, I don't know what you can do. If you wanted to use no hints and get 10 stars, you're just not going to have that. You'd have to follow a walkthrough and play the game all the way through. So that's going to potentially change whether I 
even bother to get all the achievements. If there are, is an achievement for getting 10 stars with no hints on everything, I've got quite a lot of, of puzzles I would have to go back and do. I'd probably have to play the whole game again. There's two remaining puzzles. Robot hero, let's see what this. Guide the robot to save its girlfriend while avoiding the guard. The robot always moves first. Commands are relative to the robot's feet. Forward will move the robot where its feet are pointing. Turning to keep the robot in place, but turn to left or right. The guard will move one square forward each turn until it reaches the wall. It takes two turns to, for it to turn around. Then the guard will walk back and continue again. Okay. So... This is this guy. Forward. And then forward and then right. Then forward. Forward. Then left. Then forward. Forward. Then right. And forward. Forward. Then left. Then forward and let's see what happens <laughs> apparently hmm so I've got to avoid the guard hmm So that, that one is messed up. Okay. So, what's this one do? I've got to kind of reset the whole thing. Forward, right, forward. And so, let's see, he goes forward, this one should move forward, turning right, he should move him forward again, he goes forward here, and then he can turn left, as this guy's here, and then let's wait, and let's move forward there. This isn't a full thing, but I suspect this is is enough to tell me if I'm on the right path. So everything past this point is going to just be hopeful thinking uh, on my part. See, and it seems like this is a little too few commands. See, no, I, I needed two extra stops. And then I think, I think that would have worked. It's the guard that's certainly making trouble for this. And we're gonna go a little long today, I can see. So, stop. Move that. Stop there. Stop there. And then. Forward, left, forward, this way, forward, forward, then left, then forward, 
forward, then left, then forward. And let's see if this works. So we're waiting for this guy to turn around and pass us. And I needed one more. And I can't do anything. So this final puzzle was going to get us the achievement for doing three of them, three attempts anyways, simply because it's a complicated enough process to confuse things. One more stop should do it. It almost, I wish this was faster. I get the whole point of showing me every step. And you also are having to keep an eye over here. Right. Oh, that's not going to work. So you have to do this a completely different way, don't you? You have to come down this way. There's no doubt about it. There, there's no amount of waiting that allows you to right. so reset this time we turn left we go forward 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 we go well that was a right this one and this one and then the question is is he moving or can I make it Let's wait one, then go forward, left, forward, right, forward, forward, right, forward, forward, left, forward. Let's see how this works. This wait either messed me up. Oh, it's exactly what I wanted. Well, the weight didn't mess me up, actually, so it doesn't matter. I didn't need it, but it didn't matter. So that's attempt number five. Almost half a million on that one case. Let's see how difficult the other puzzle is. I guess I could have used hints, if I, but I didn't need a hint. So that's one more one star puzzle. And then next one, Super Robot Hero. Wow, it's just gonna be the same thing. Guide the robot to his girlfriend, avoiding two girl cards. Um, so forward. Which way are these guys gonna go? Hmm. Either there's a lot of waiting here, or I'm fine. And then to the right, forward, and then to the left, forward, 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 then to his left, and then forward, and then to the right, and forward. Let's. This probably isn't right. No, there's a step. There's a timing issue here. Like, almost certainly not going to get this on the first try. And we never saw any real puzzles that were exactly like this. We saw some puzzles that were somewhat similar, but not with the relative coordinates that this system is using. Mm. There certainly is no setup for this. There's no explanation for why this puzzle is here. It's just like, 
they had a couple extra that they probably took out of the main game and made optional, which is the right move, but uh, I think probably for, if I was to guess, some silly reasons. Let's move this this way. Moving everything after the first two moves. Well, actually the first move. This way, and that's going to give two things. I assume maybe it would work if I just hit submit and didn't have one here. That might be an easy way to make changes too. Wait, wait. Now I need both of them. Hmm. And see, I could be wrong and need to w wait some more. And it does seem like that's the case. Yep. So now I need to move the next section after the I get to this spot and throw in a bunch of weights into that one. It's rather long, like scene that you're given here. Let's see. Let's see. Forward. Right. Forward. Right. And then one, two, three. That's what I believe. Let's see what happens when I hit submit like this. Will it execute nothing but take a turn on an empty block? It does take a turn. Hmm. And so I need one more wait. That has to be it. Just one more rate. And then this. Let's see how that works. So we're going to get to this point and then we wait. Three, four, Hmm. See, I don't even think five would be enough. So, unless there's... Something I'm missing here. This last square is absolutely not allowing us to... It's not, it's just not allowing us to have anything in there. Hmm. Is there an extra maneuver that I'm doing that I don't need to do? Yeah, I would still need one more wait, but I don't actually need two move forwards there. Hmm. So there's something wrong with my code. We are going to cost half a million of the taxpayer's dollars. Like, one of these is wrong. That should work. That's just a long amount of time you have to wait. But a lot of the times when you're making programs, you do have to wait a real long time so that human input or something else can catch up. So I'll just wait. It doesn't feel like these guards are turning around, so it doesn't seem like they're taking that extra two turns. 
and we made it. And we're at past half a million dollars. And that's all the puzzles. So there's nothing more to do here in the game. Hmm. Honestly, I like that it has achievements. I like that they've tried to make some improvements here. How many journal entries did we end up making? A massive amount of 44 journal entries. Way more story attempted to put in here. We almost cost the taxpayers nine billion dollars. Uh, but for the actual puzzles, this is a much worse game than the original. And that's kind of a shame. I was hoping you could have a series like this. Uh, and I still think you could. I think you could make a X-Files, Fargo, Twin Peaks style themed game that is also puzzle based. Or you could just make a puzzle game, or you could make an X-Files game, or you could make a Twin Peaks game, Fargo game. All of those are good ideas. It's just the implementation and combination of all these things in this game didn't work. Uh, I don't really have a problem with the animation style like I did in the first game. It seems a little bit more detailed, but then we have major graphical glitches going on in this game. Uh, you still have a problem here of just you can't get 10 stars. I much would rather a cell phone style you can go back and play the level and get all 10 stars or all 3 stars uh, so that you're just not saddled with having to be reminded of your mistakes over and over again. The only replayability in this game is just to go back and try and do the puzzles without making any mistakes, which kind of sucks because on your second playthrough the puzzles aren't going to change. You know what they are. None of these puzzles were very good, so that's even worse. We used 29 hints out of 33 because we just didn't care. There's n nothing motivating you in the game to make certain you're going to be right on the first try even though there's this heavy penalty of put on your permanent record for every piece of gum you use for every mistake you uh, submit uh, it just doesn't all it doesn't have any weight to it it doesn't have any matter but yeah by far the bad puzzles the just obscure puzzles are the worst I would kind of suggest people play puzzle agent one and then I'd say well then you need the story for Puzzle Agent 2, but then you have to go through all the bad puzzles in Puzzle Agent 2. So I, I would have to say, like, play them both with a walkthrough and just enjoy the story for as much as you can, but then the story's not even that good. I mean, there's so many caveats you have to take to, to suggest and recommend this game, and unfortunately, it just doesn't hold up. It, it can't hold under the weight hold up under the weight of all those caveats sorry it's just below average it's not good enough sorry that's a shame and I guess that explains why we never saw a puzzle agent 3 uh, I would like to see a puzzle game that's kind of like this with good puzzles at some point always love more puzzle games anywho that's it for this series as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all of that helps me out if you want to support me even further you can click on my name righto that gets you to my main youtube page on the right is a blue button that says support this channel you can click that and make a donation also on my main youtube page is a playlist tab you can click that and see a playlist for every game i've ever covered and then finally down below in the description box if you click the show more button, you will see social media links to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Steam, and Battle.net. You can friend and follow me on all of those services. That helps me with those services, and it lets you know when my newest videos are available. Thank you for watching, and have a good evening. Bye.